Hi, I'm Carrie Obazinski, Business Development Manager at Times Microwave Systems. Welcome to Real Times. This is our vlog where we'll talk about industry trends, new product introductions, talk to the experts, and pretty much talk about everything RF. If you'd like to subscribe, please do so below. And if you click on the bell, you'll get updates on our new episodes. Today we have Andrew Kurzrock with us. He is our business unit manager for semi-rigid products. And our topic today is SIO2 cable assemblies. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Andrew. Welcome to Real Times. Thank you, thank you. And I was hoping you could tell us a little bit more about SIO2. Yeah, so okay, so SIO2. So first of all, four, four what is it? Layers. Yeah. What is SIO2, <laughs> yeah. okay. So a, a little bit of chemistry, SIO2, right? It's silicon dioxide. Um, most of our cables, you know, you've got a center conductor right in the middle, then something stuff. We have a lot of different materials and then the outer conductor and the signal passes between. Uh, silicon dioxide is just one of those dielectric materials that we use. Um, but it's a really unique material and it enables us to do things that we can't do with any other cables that we have at times microwave. Like what? So yeah, so if you want to go to extremely high temperatures, mm -hmm. we're talking 600, 1000 degrees C, uh, if you're in a high radiation environment, think deep space or uh, the center of a particle collider where they're exploring the deepest parts of the universe. Um, or if you have an advanced military radar system where you need the phase stability to be absolutely perfect. Um, all of those situations, um, you could really benefit from the SAO2 dielectric and, and frankly other materials just won't get you the results that you need to survive in those environments. These sound very, very highly technical, like you need an engineering team to help design them. Is that something we can do to help our customers? Yeah, so we, we hope to make it a little easier than that, but okay. you know, it's what our engineers are here for are to make it easy for you. Um, it is a, 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 um, a really nuanced product, um, but that's the trade-off for getting uh, capabilities that no other product can offer. So from our, our sales team through our applications engineers, um, everyone is equipped to help ensure that they're asking the right questions as you're thinking about it, really from the design stage. You know, what do I need uh, for electrical parameters, for mechanical parameters? All of our semi-rigid cables, or all of our silicon dioxide cables, they're all semi-rigid products. They're made with a stainless steel jacket. Um, and so what that means is we're gonna have to bend them, configure them to meet your exact needs. Um, that's no problem, we do it you know, hundreds of times a week, um, but it requires just a little bit upfront on your drawings. So asking those types of questions as well as questions about what sorts of environments are the cables gonna be in? Are they gonna be in space? Are they gonna be in vacuums, high radiation? Um, all of those help make sure that we design the right size of cable. We have three cable sizes, um, 0 0.90 inches, uh, 141 uh, inches, and 0.270 inches, a little bigger than a quarter inch, um, as well as the right connectors. So yeah, there are a number of things that go into it, Carrie, but um, the Times Microwave team is ready to um, help configure the right cable for you. And where do we make these? Do we make them locally here? Yeah, so we do. So all of our um, SIO2 cable assemblies are manufactured in our Mesa, Arizona facility. Um, it's a gorgeous facility. Um, you know, we're actually expanding it from about 2,000 square feet dedicated to SIO2 up to 8,000 square feet in early 2021. Um, so even you know, despite the pandemic and everything, we're really excited to see that broader manufacturing capability come online. Uh, it's a great site. And where could um, customers learn a little bit more about SIO2? Yeah, so first place is our website, um, no question. Um, all of our uh, marketing literature is available there. You can get technical details about the products. Um, we also recently had a webinar on, our, um, on all the details of how you might specify a product actually with one of those engineers, uh, an engineer on our team, John Kilfeather. That's available online. You can check it out um, in the description for this video. There'll be a link to it. Well, thank you for telling us more about SAO2. I think you've answered a lot of questions. Find out the latest industry trends and keep up with cutting RF technology, as well as learning more about Times Microwave Systems. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you click the bell below, you'll get updates on our new episodes. If you've enjoyed the video, please like it and share. And finally, until next time, Stay healthy and thanks for watching.